let me let me get nice and uh, comfortable here, right? But we do have a lot. We 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 have a lot to talk about. This is gonna be this is gonna be a bittersweet video for me and maybe for you. Now the last haircut tutorial that was that was a victory for for us guys, and I feel like we did it together. Like we we shared it. We shared that victory, right? Now this one we're gonna have to. Uh, we gonna have to go through through this pain on this video. There's a bit of a victory, but there's also not. If, if you catch my drift, we're gonna get into this. Stay with me. We're doing this together, guys. Mira esto. Lo que vamos a hacer aquí es, este, vamos a compartir. Vamos a compartir, este, un dolor que yo siento adentro. This should be a segment. We're gonna call this the what it is and what it ain't. What this type of video is. This is absolutely a, a tutorial. What it ain't is a completely successful one. But, but there are things to learn and that's why I'm gonna show it to you. Like I almost didn't even post this. I have a specific folder for cuts that I don't necessarily wanna show. I don't trash these, but I do have a folder and there's a few videos in there. But instead of throwing it in that folder, I chose to share this with y'all. So coming to the stage, we have Justin. Now Justin, he don't play around with this. He's a waiver. I'm pretty sure on the thumbnail you could already tell. But for those that aren't familiarized with the wave game, there's a culture behind this. There are people that commit hours a day. I used to be one of them. And they end up having results out of this world. There's a lot of crazy patterns in this game. For my boy Justin, he's a 360 waiver. You feel me? 360 waiver stand up. I used to, I used to be a part of y'all. But now I'm not. But it's all right though. It's all right. It's all right. I get it. I left and I didn't say goodbye, guys. So I know for the wave community, I've upset you. Maybe one day I'll explain myself, but this is not that video. So let's get back to Justin. Mira, con Justin, con Justin. Este, let's look what he has. Let's see what we got. Mira esto. J hits on the beat. Now look here, guys. Just want to let you know if you ever if you ever want to check if somebody is a real waiver. See, waivers have battle scars, okay? Scars that let you know the amount of hours they put into waves. The first battle scar you're gonna see nine times out of ten is in their foreheads. Do it eso? Do it la raya? All right, guys. Before you even think about cutting a waiver, please, por favor. You gotta comb that hair out. If you haven't noticed, he's got a fro going on. It's just laid down. He probably had a washing style. For, for those that don't know what a washing style is, he, he just made sure that hair was laid. ¿Me entiende? And when it's laid like that, the guard is not going to catch nothing for the most part. And you want to make sure you comb it out because by combing it out, by lifting it, you're gonna be able to cut it. And right here, we're about to get started with the one and a half guard. Watching this, I was thinking to myself, wait, how long was this wolf? I think it was at least three months. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna text Justin. Again, guys, we're gonna have some, some victories and some losses, some wins and some losses in this video. Now is when things get serious. All right, so look. So as you can see, we have a few challenges here, boys and girls. And the challenge is that he has some light spots, right? Cool, all right. Now to take away from this light area, we could do a lot of things. We could use color, which we do use on this video. But color is something that we're not using right away. And still, the way you cut it leading up to the color matters. So 
I'm thinking, tu sabe, a high taper. That's what I've done in the past, and that's helped a lot. Believe me, a lot. But guess what, boys and girls? Guess what Justin chose to go with for this video? A lower taper. A lower taper. Okay, think about this. I think what he wanted was to to grow the wave pattern more in. Like he wanted to stretch that wave pattern a bit out. I think, I could be wrong, but I think that's what he wanted. Other than that, then he just maybe just wanted to switch it up. But regardless, to me hearing that, I'm like, are you sure you want to do that? I didn't really say that. I, in my mind, I said that. Usually when a client tells me they want to switch it up, it don't matter, let's switch it up. This way, hey, whatever you want to do, let's go. Now there's some cases, you know, I'll say a few things, but this wasn't that case. Guys, look at that. Can you see that little old bald guideline that I'm creating? But then look at all the other space I gotta work on and still have to do something with that light area on his corners. I'm panicking watching this already. When it comes to tapering a waiver, you want to make sure you don't you don't want to go so high that it takes away from the pattern. In his case, I'm looking at the last pattern and seeing how much high can I go before I start messing with the pattern. And that's usually my rule of thumb. Just don't interfere with the work, but still make it look good. In the past, I've gone lower on the tapers and I haven't I've never liked how it looked. I think the back taper was pretty solid. We just have to work on the sides. So tapers looking, eh. but look, look at that. Yo, how many of you guys are getting annoyed by the strap of that mask? I have a cemetery of masks. Not really, but I have a few people that I've managed to cut up their mask. And actually in one case, one person really freaked out, but it's so excessive that you can feel his energy of like how nervous he is. So if somebody were to come into the shop by accident without a mask, my man is like doing one of these. Like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa!
right here is when I'm starting to begin to get upset. As I'm spraying this down and watching this, I'm, it seems like I'm, I'm clearly not seeing what's in front of me. Lo ven? Do y'all see it? Do y'all see that line? Fonz, Fonz, look at me, Fonz. Look at me. What happened? Why are you, why are you spraying it down? You should have been doing that. You should have been, you should have been work, working on that. You should have been working on that line, Fonz. See, sometimes you gotta step back, guys. You gotta step back. Leave your haircut right where it is. Step back a little bit. Look at it from different angles. And it's, look, it's looking like I didn't do that. I know y'all gonna give it to me on the comment section, but it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna keep going. Because after this, I'm gonna get better anyways, guys. Anyways. Anyways. So I want to remind you guys, remember to, to use a comb. Um, I know that on the other side, I was, I was catching myself using the brush and I really shouldn't be using the brush. That I must have been talking. See, that's where I mess up a lot. And that's why, you know, there's some things that are going to change in my channel soon. But look, when it comes to talking and cutting hair, I'm not really the best multitasker at all. At all. There, I envy barbers that can multitask that could have an amazing conversation with anybody in the shop and still cut hair in a timely fashion. Like, it does not happen like that with me. If you want a haircut done at a certain time, bro, let's not talk. Especially if I'm recording. We can't talk, I'm sorry. Because I'm already looking at what I'm doing with the camera and cutting. So not only am I cutting hair, recording, I'm talking. I don't do this all the time, I promise. But when I do, Boy, oh boy, oh boy, you're gonna be sitting down for a minute. Okay, bueno, mi gente, look. We are using a lower guard around the hairline area, okay? So the initial guard was a one and a half. Y'all remember that, right? So we are coming with a one guard and we're gonna tighten up the area just a bit. I probably had it open to midway open and now, after spraying him down with some hairspray, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trim it up, line it up. But you don't wanna push it back. He's light. I don't know if y'all can, can see that. Can y'all see that? He's light. He's light. So you don't wanna just push it back. You wanna keep it as natural as possible because. Tu sabes lo que va a pasar? We're gonna get into color in a little bit. So you wanna keep it natural because the color, el color. It's gonna go ahead and cover that up, but that in itself is going to be a painful, a rather painful discussion. I don't even wanna talk about it yet, I'm not ready. doing here to Justin's beard is that we're just gonna keep it full he, he let me know that he wanted to keep it full so that also lets me know that I'm just gonna do a high taper uh, uh, on the beard we're gonna keep that taper you know you know controlled and contained and uh, you know uh, from there we're gonna go ahead and shape it up now I must say this for all my waivers that wolf I'm guilty of something I let myself go 
I, I, I just want to be the first to say, don't let yourself go. Part of letting yourself go is letting that mustache go, fellas. So, sabe que? Let's not do that. If you're going to woof, and if you're not going to come to the shop as often, tu sabe que? Cuidate. Take care of this. Let's not let it go. Now, if you're going to come and get a video by me, I completely understand. to share this with you guys so when it comes to using a trimmer to do a mustache or eyebrows I prefer the slimline pros they're lighter the blade is smaller um, did I mention they're lighter um, I don't always use a hot towel on people see if I use a hot towel on all my clients nine times out of ten I could just I don't even as long as I cut it down low enough I could come back with the razor I don't even got to do all that shaping with trimmers Trimmers help you kind of skip that step if you do it with the right tool and obviously if you're effective enough doing it fast. Um, but, I, I, you know, not everybody uses towels. So using a trimmer helps. And um, the Slimline Pros for me right now, when it comes to doing mustaches, and it's crazy because I don't always use them. It's right, they're right there, Fonz. They're right there. Y'all see that line? Y'all see that line? It's still there. It's still there, Fonz. What are you waiting on? It's just a closed blade away from being gone. It's just a closed blade away. All you had to do, Fonz, was close that blade up. Close it up and use it. It's right there.
All right, look, Justin, look, let's sit down real quick, Justin. I need you to sit down for a second and listen to me. We gotta talk real quick. Look, when you came to me, you knew I was gonna make you look but I, you knew that, right? Like, I know you know that I, my intentions were to make you look good and they still are, because I know you're gonna come back. You've been coming back. We're in this together, okay, you and I. So, listen, this doesn't reflect on what I'm gonna do in the future. Listen to me. Look, you look better here. You look better. Look at how you used to look. And look at how you look now. You look better, right? You look better. Can we all agree he looks better? He does look better. Now, under a microscope though, we got some, some constructive criticism here. Constructive, that's it. Not destructive, constructive. Just so we can get better. How can I say this to you? Look, Justin, I wanted to give you the best cut possible, bro. I really did. My intentions were there, but my hands and my mind, something happened because we have a problem here. You know what that problem is? That freaking line. But listen, I know what I did wrong now. It's not you, it's me. And we're gonna get better, I promise. Another thing that I could have done a little better, that edge line. I ain't gonna lie, something happened. But you know what, Justin, look. I guarantee you, by next time, it ain't gonna be this. We're gonna be better. We are gonna do better because we don't study this video, boys and girls. We don't study it. And we know what we need to do next. So, I'm sharing this with you guys to let you know that even though the last cut with Abdul was fire, I still struggle here and there and I'm not afraid to share it with you guys because I wanna grow with you and let you know that you're not alone. Ooh, that wasn't powerful right there. That one hit, didn't it? That one hit right there. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I could have used fibers, kind of, you know, because when you use color enhancement, it kind of leaves a little bit of a shine. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna tap into that. We're gonna figure it out. So, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave this here with y'all to go in on the comment section. Just let's be constructive about this one, though. You know, let's grow together and let's make Justin proud. Let's come back and kill this cut next time he comes back. And we're gonna compare it and do better next time. So guys, it is what it is. We gotta keep growing, we gotta keep going. Oh, and by the way, if I don't know if y'all have noticed, um, we're almost at 100K, so if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But I got that like button because it matters. Let's get this video to over 1,500 likes at least. Me entienden? And uh, anyways, guys, that's it. Me fui, me tengo que ir. J hits on the beat. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area.